Hello everyone. Welcome to the another episode of Wheat in the Laravel. So today in this video, I'm going to install the Wheat into the React JS in, in Laravel application. So basically, I'm going to build the SPA with the Laravel, and I'm going to install this Wheat uh, for the asset bundling. So basically, Wheat is a asset bundler for the SPAs and for the website, and it's uh, new added in the Laravel 9. And I'm going to install this into the Laravel 9 project okay so let's get started so this is the react and this one is uh, not completely described that how to install this into the react js yes. so that's why i came with this blog and this blog is written by this lara.info.com and they are writing very well blog and i'm impressed uh, with them and i want to say thank you uh, for writing these blogs and now i'm going to install this uh, into our application so first you need to create your project and then you need to install react js into your application so first uh, let's uh, install the project and i have installed this project here create project and i name this wait with the react and laravel and it's installed successfully and then i change the directory and came into this project and here i'm going to install this uh, react uh, oops let me uh, copy it correctly it's added the white space that's why it's uh, behaving like this okay let's add this paste install and it's going to install the react uh, react the latest version for us okay so react js is installed and next command is you need to add uh, this react okay you need to add this uh, for uh, plugin for the react so this is the react plugin which is added by the wheat and uh, if this command is not going to work so you can add the force flag with this command and it will uh, force this to install this uh, plugin right and if uh, it works we don't need to add this force flag okay by default it, these are the disabled okay and uh, then you need to make changes into the v.config.js so let me open this into the vs code so here i'm going to open a new window okay so i have uh, opened this project uh, into my vs code so let's uh, close this out and uh, let's take eye on this terminal and yes this plugin is installed successfully so let's go to the top and yes this step is also done because we don't need this force flag if it's not required okay and then you need to add this uh, here you need to before this let's look like this your configuration file so now let's move to the config file so if you uh, take eye on this down uh, wait uh, to config.js so by default in the previous version it contained the webpack dot mix.js file so now it's uh, replaced with this uh, v.config.js and by default it's containing this code so basically what it's doing it's uh, uh, loading the configuration loading the wheat plugin and then here it's loading all of the css and js file to this resource directory and this refresh property is used for refreshing our web page without any we don't need to do this it will automatically refresh the web page and if you don't want to do this so you can return this false like this and it will not uh, going to auto reload okay so here you need to add this uh, react right like we added this in the Vue.js tutorial so if you are not familiar with this one how to add this into the Vue.js you can watch my previous video where i completely explain that how to add this into the vue.js application so i added the namespace at the top and here you need to add the call this react okay and uh, you need to add this into the plugin here it's because this is the react is also a plugin so save this one basically it's a framework but uh, it's behaving like uh, uh, it's behaving like a plugin we are calling this plugin right so here we added this plugin react and we are calling this here okay and next you need to add this uh, blade directive into your app so we need to add them you can add them later but uh, let me do this okay so basically we are going to open our uh, welcome blade file which comes with uh, by default with the laravel i'm going to remove the basic stuff from there okay for simplicity and then also remove this uh, oops why my texture is slow down so let's remove this body tag here i'm going to add the body here okay my text feature please just me 
okay it's not uh, suggesting me i'm going to add this by manually body okay and then here you need to add uh, your div which contain the id of uh, app right so it's not adding so let me add this myself okay and then here you need to call this id of app because we are going to render this into this app id right so basically we are going to build an instance of this react application and then we are going to do this okay so let's save this one and uh, let's come back here and here you need to go to your uh, js directory and you need to create this stuff like this right but if you um, this is one is mentioned that you need to go to your page and then create this home.csx but i'm not going to go to this uh, page directly i'm going to do this without any page so you can add this using page so here you need to call this uh, home oops let me make this home.jsx okay it's used for javascript so you can uh, add this here home.jsx okay and then you need to call this app.jsx so i need to create one more file so here i'm going to create this in the app app.jsx which is javascript extension and in the app.jsx you need to add this stuff okay so now let's go here and paste this out right okay so we don't need this uh, css so let's remain this bootstrap okay and uh, then this one is uh, remove this page because we are not uh, we did not add this into the page and it's creating the app instances and it's rendering the home and uh, what home is doing so let's go to this home blade and here let's copy the home stuff so this one is home.gx so let's copy this basically we are exporting another view okay and then npm run dev right so now let's go here and run this out so basically it's going to compile your file uh, compile your files and then it's going to instantly watching into your files when you are changing something it will be automatically refresh on the web browser so you don't need to manually refresh your web page so basically it's similar like npm run watch uh, which we are using this in our uh, in our project uh, for webpack okay so let me go to the project and i'm going to open one more terminal because we need to run our server and we can't stop this out uh, in the previous uh, Vue.js lecture i told you that you don't need to stop this out because your um, uh, uh, newer changes will not be affected and if you made any changes it will not affect it on the web browser uh, there are two ways the first one is you need to run this for the development purposes like this and if you want to make this for the production you don't want to run this out every time so then your project is complete so then you need to run npm run uh, build and it will uh, compile your all files and add them into the build directory and then you don't need to run this like this okay so run hit php artisan serve here okay php artisan serve and now let's uh, go back and open this out to localhost to 8000 also take eye on this it's loaded no it's not open this out it's uh, chrome is refreshing this web page and i face <laughs> many issues that when i open this out like this and manually uh, uh, enter it very quickly and it will refresh this and my value are last values are last so please uh, chrome i want to say google please improve this thing okay okay now our server is started and it's displaying nothing so i already told you that if something is went wrong so you need to go to your console open the console and then view it in your console this will be display all of the error because we are playing with the javascript okay so there is no error so now let's get refresh again and uh, take eye on this and what's going wrong so we'll fix this out okay laravel with uh, no errors so let's go here here we are rendering this out so let me close this out here i have added this uh, home okay home.js let me close this out and if i go here and uh, oh i forgot to add the mix file here so we need to add these mix file here so let's go here and go to the top 
on this one so you need to add this react refresh for refresh your web browser automatically and then you need to add it for the again okay so now let's save this one and this will be let's uh, manually refresh it and then we will do this with this hot reload feature okay and yes it's going to execute this out because it is telling that one 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 so it's mean that it's executing our uh, view and yes now it's rendered this laravel 9 wait with react js so it means that our we are successfully rendering this through wait so how you can make sure that we are rendering it to through wait so just uh, press ctrl plus u or you can click on this view page resource uh, click on right click and play, click on this view page resource so this will open your code into the next tab and here you can check that this is running through this white client a uh, wheat client because this one is supported uh, by this uh, wheat and uh, this will be loading now wheat files right so we don't need to do anything and uh, one more question arise here that how you can add the custom file into this uh, view j uh, into this react js so for example these files are uh, uh, this one is loading from let me go to the go to the bottom and this one contain the v.config.js so this one is basically loading app.css and app.js so we remove this so app.css and now it's loading app.js only so now question arise that how we can render our custom files so if for example i want to apply some style on it so how i can write the custom style and recompile them so let's go here go to this resources css and in the css i'm going to create a new file here i'm going to name this so uh, test.css and in the test uh, here i'm going to write that uh, para okay and i want to change its color i want to make this red save this one and here we need to uh, import this file right not here we need to add this into the jsx file so app.jsx and here i need to add this file right so i'm going to uh, import this out import and what's the directory of this one so it's located in the css slash uh, app dot css save this one okay so now we are loading this app dot css and i want to apply some thing on this paragraph so this paragraph is basically rendering here in this uh, from this home blade so now let's go to this uh, home okay this one is a component not blade okay this one is a home component and this one is rendering this heading and this heading uh, heading is rendered by this dev heading so now let's go here and i want to assign this para id to this one so write para okay save this one and uh, now if i go here and now it's so i save this and it's automatically refreshing our web page right it says that to fail to import to dot css slash app dot css it means that our css file is not properly added so we need to import it properly okay so it says that css app dot oh i need to add this test dot css oh my god so here let's go back and i want to make this so test dot CSS so now let's come back here let's stay eye on this it's going to change its color from black to red and yes there is no error but there is an error uh, CSS test from okay let me view it here so we are in the JS and I want to add this to CSS test.css and uh, here if i go here i need to add this double because my file exi not exist in this js directory so i need to go back so i need to add this double uh, double dot and then this will re redirect me to um, to the out of this folder and uh, into this resources so then i can go to this css okay then css and i can look at this test dot css so now let's save this one and it will automatically refresh in the web browser and hope it's going to work if it is not we will fix this issue no, no no problem okay no error and uh, 
and yes now it's working that laravel 9 right with the react js and it's successfully changed the color so in this way you can add uh, multiple files into your config file like here so you can add the css or your js files and you don't need to do anything so this will automatically load your all of the files from this uh, app.jsx so you don't need to add them all so it will execute your all of the files if you added 10 files in the weeds so it will load the 10 files so hope you get an idea that how you can compile your files in the react js laravel using weed and if you want to uh, learn more about that how you can install this into the uh, into the react js application with the breeze installation so let's take eye on another play another, another video so i will meet you in the next one and uh, also one more thing please subscribe the youtube channel if you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected bye bye